I think I need a better background. I know this is enticing and all. A shirt from two days ago, and then my beautiful bed. But uh, I think I've got a. I think I need a maybe a cuter background. Yo, I'm on the br on the brink of like splitting my piss. This, I watched like eight minutes of the debate last night. And Hillary Clinton said, I think we need to fund the Kurdish rebels. And I'm not going to make fun of her voice, although it is really intensely unique. But she wants to arm the rebels. Arm. She wants to overthrow Assad. She wants to establish a regime change again like she did in Libya and like they did in Iraq. And the reason that ISIS is fighting is to stop the United States uh, from coercing other countries to join them into taking over all these governments to establish these, uh, whatever you want to call them, central banks, more or less, like monetarily taking over the world is what, and it's like the United States has a parasitic hook in its brain called the Federal Reserve that's like pushing it to do this stuff. It's not like I want to go to war. Do you want to go to war? I doubt it. I have a feeling you don't want to go to war, especially after what we've been through in Iraq. I mean, that shit is sickening. After Vietnam, this is a fucking crazy fact. Well, at least hearsay, a friend of mine told me. After Vietnam, the generals knew, they realized the biggest mistake we made in Vietnam was embedding journalists because it showed everyone back home how fucked up war is. And then they didn't want the war anymore, so they had to bring the troops home. And the, and the military was like, we're not going to do that again. So in the war, the first war in Iraq, God, atrocities happened off camera. And we were fed bullshit. And now we're over there now. Like, you put helmet cams on those troops. That's what you need to do. And stream it live on the internet. You got to watch somebody walking around trying to take an IED. Get them fired at. War will end real fast if we get our eyes on it. Nobody wants to be fucking fighting. I mean, sure, you want a thrill. Maybe someone wants a thrill. Maybe someone wants to make the world a better place. The motivation for troops fighting anyway is because they want to make the world a better place. And if, you know, you're, you're led into a, a war because you think you're making the world a better place and you find out that you're not, that you're actually supporting, like, imperialism in the sickest modernized form. Dude, we're at war. This country's at war. We're at war. They haven't declared a war since World War II because to get around to like loophole it, but we're at war. We're, we're, we're supporting a war, right? Like a, a foreign invasion. We're supporting a foreign invasion. This is fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy. We can stop it, but we have to take the bull by the horns and rewrite the constitution and take power away from these six iconic people. We don't need a, a, a president right now. We don't need some human making these dumbass decisions, man. It's, it's too much power for one human. Spain, actually, right now, their, their government is at like a standstill, and they haven't been able to... They haven't been able to, to pass any new laws for like eight months. So the government's just just going. It's just, and next year, the tax laws are going to be the same tax laws as they were last year because there's not enough power. No, no, no political party has enough power in the government to pass any new laws, and the Spanish people are fucking loving it. They're basically running their own country. And when stuff needs to get done, it gets done. And, and people were like, oh, this is going to be, oh, if the government's not, it's not a government shutdown. Like government jobs and offices are still being, everything's like, working as normal just no new legislation is getting passed government's a fuck toodle dude it's it's so big it's so many people involved in that fucking business and it's like for the most part unnecessary i get it you want to have like a domestic military you want to have like military power sure we don't need eighty thousand people in the government all taking a piece of it we don't need senators getting this huge amount of money i can do this job from my house we can work together to do this job from our house instead of pay these people to give themselves raises. Oh, it's fucking crazy. I, I, I am about to lose it again, but 
I know that if you thank yourself, thank you body, I've been thanking my, my muscles, thank you shoulder. Yeah, you know, thinking it. I think that a constitutional convention could be called where we could rewrite the constitution with 50% of the population support. And it might even be the case where we could rewrite the constitution and then supply that to the population and get 50% of the people to get behind it. That might be a lot more realistic than be like, hey, 50% of the people wanna write a new one and everyone's gonna be like, but if we, if we have something legitimate, like modern English, not trying to trick people, the straight, just the bare bones rules of engagement, the entire, and then you'll see what amendments are fucking bullshit because there's so much of that shit that's like, doesn't make any sense. The, the Federal Reserve, for instance, is an act that was passed in 1913. Do you know this? The Federal Reserve Act that says that the United States is gonna cede control of their monetary supply to a public or a private institution called the Federal Reserve. So this, this private company got founded in 1913, and then they started loaning the US government money. They started loaning us our cash. So this dollar, was loaned to me by the Federal Reserve. This is actually loaned to the US government by the Federal Reserve for a promissory note that says the US government's gonna pay the Federal Reserve back this dollar plus interest. So they established income tax to pay for the interest that we're paying back to this private company. Your income tax, a lot of your income tax is going to pay these people. This is this private organization that is beholden not to the government. It's a private company that apparently is unauditable, doesn't want to be audited. And they they have been seeding our 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 money. I mean, they crashed the the system in 1929 because they fucking have no idea what they're doing. They've been they like just print as much as they want and then pull, try and pull it out of circulation and then print as much as they want. And you see what happened in 2008? This is what happens when you let private bankers run a public establishment, a public country's monetary system so we can repeal the Federal Reserve Act. I think that's implicit. Just keep talking about it. Don't stay silent. Speak up. That's how we get it done. If enough of us are talking about it, it spreads like fucking wildfire. When you say something and another person hears you, that affects them in everything they do. Every behavior they make, every interaction they have, what you said to them is in there, changing them to the point of sometimes persuasion. But even if you don't persuade them, it's in there and it's changing them. And their actions will telegraph that to the people they interact with or their surroundings. So if you talk about a global democratization, a peaceful unification, unity, other people are going to hear that and that's going to fuck with them in a good way. At least I think it's a good thing. And I'm telling you, man, viral videos is like six years old or eight, 10 years old. This is like new territory. If you think it's not possible for Jill Stein to win the election or some new candidate to win a presidential election, I mean, Bieber gets 68 million hits on a video in like two weeks, maybe 68 million. This is just a number coming off my head. 100 million, 50 million hits. These videos have 48 million hits. They went up in September. It's October now. 50 million hits, 50 million people in like a week, two weeks, three weeks, uh, you know. Whereas in 1996, I think is a lot of us are products of the 90s. I'm a product of the 90s and the 80s when it was like NBC, ABC, that was it. That was your funnel to vision to, to, what, to, the, to the, what's going on in the world. Now we can do this without any outside force. We don't need a, a corporate uh, a company to, to feed us the commercials they want to feed us and the, the television and the, and the lighting and, and the, the music and the moderators and the candidates. We don't need that stuff anymore to fix it, to make it happen, man. We're making it happen right now. So keep making it happen.